Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Atriox, and we're back with another reaction. So, um, I kind of want to go back to Linkin Park because, like, granted, I've heard these songs before, but I've never actually heard them live. So, I kind of want to do that today. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna leave out all the rest. This is like one of my favorite Linkin Park songs. So, I kind of wanted to go back and just check this one out as like the live performance because, like, obviously, I've heard studio albums, but um, I've actually never watched the, uh, you know, the actual live performances. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna check out Linkin Park live. I, I, if you guys like doing seeing this, like we'll check out some more of the live of the live performances by Chester and the, and the Linkin Park, because obviously you know the band hasn't uh, posted anything. So we're gonna check this uh, some older stuff out by Linkin Park because like I never like I said I've never got a chance to listen to them live. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. But anyways, guys, if you like if you like the content, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and we're gonna check this one out. Mm -hmm. We can do anything. We can do We're anything. fucking Lincoln Park. <laughs> Except I do need to play minor chords instead of major chords because it's it's not a major. It's a minor. I think this was 2017 too, right? Uh, yeah, 2017. Uh, okay. The problem with wearing clothes. We're fucking hot. It's sweaty. Take it up. Yeah. <laughs> this is the weirdest combination of song and strip I've ever. <laughs> like I always just want to like wear clothes because they look cool, and then I'm just like, what was I thinking? You know? <laughs> and then I end up naked, and I'm like, what was I thinking? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> it's a catch twenty-two. Take it up. You gotta have a tank top under that, for sure. I'll take over for a second. <laughs> When my time comes, forget the wrong that I've done. Help mm -mm, me leave behind, behind some reasons to be missed. And don't resent me when you're feeling empty. Keep me in your memory. Leave out all the rest. But yeah, he didn't even this bro. He didn't even sound like this is a uh, what you call it, live. It sounds like a, rec a recorded one. Obviously, guitars and drums and everything else sounds pretty good. But like Chester's voice is so good, bro. I'm so mad. I never got a chance to like check him out when I was when he was still alive, bro. But at least I can go back and like watch these live performances on YouTube to be able to see like what it sounded like. But you know, uh, I wish I had that chance. But what what can you do, man? Taking my feet 
to talk about this part right here. Him holding the fan's hand and saying that part there. It's like almost like a projection. Like when you think about what happened with him later on um, when he obviously died. And basically the whole song is like when I'm gone, uh, what you call it? <clears throat> don't, don't resent him for, uh, I guess, what, what he did. Maybe the song... He kind of knew the way he was going to go or like, you know, maybe this is the song that's just like him saying that when I'm gone, like, you know, just keep being your memories. Because like, obviously, we're all going to go. Uh, we're all going to go someday. And like, that's what the songs over represented to me was like, even like when what it meant to me was like, even when that the song uh, after he's gone, the song is going to be there for the fans and like him holding their hand and like kind of like looking at them the whole time that he's singing it. Like he sees that like, people in the crowd, like, you know, are, are like probably going through some 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 stuff like just by looking at them and like the way that you know he's singing that part so maybe he just felt like a need to go and interact with that fan in particular and just kind of like you know you sing that part to them you know what i mean like if that makes sense to you guys like it kind of makes sense to me i don't know in, in my head but anyways yeah like so that's why i think like this song is more about like you know, he knew that eventually he would be gone. And, like, he, this is a song for the fans that, like, after he's gone, to go back and listen to, to, to make them, like, remember the good times and all, all the good songs that they've put out together. Like, that's how I've always taken this song. That song so damn good, bro. <laughs> I've always loved that song. It's like one of my favorite songs by Lincoln Park because, like, also, it always because, like, it's such a good song to listen to. In the case, like, if you ever lost somebody, whether it be suicide or anything in particular, it's not even particularly about suicide. Um, I think it's just more about like a person be, you know, once they're gone, just going having something to go back to to be able to like help deal with like a sort of passing. And like, it's like a song just remember to like kind of like. You know, just be able to remember the fond memories and like all the good times you've had with somebody, or you know, for Chester's particular situation, like you know, he had a he had an, and it looks like obviously we'll we'll see in some more videos, but in this particular video, it just looks like he has such a connection with like a fan, and like you know, it was called like an aura, a spiritual thing, where like he felt the need to go out there and like completely interact with that certain group of fans, holding their hands, helping, letting them sing with him on the mic. That was that was pretty sick, but you know. That's just like that's something Chester Chester does. Uh, I assume Chester does like because like he's always been like oh, had this attachment to fans. Even like the videos that I've seen him and where like I think I saw the crawling video back in the day. But I like back then it was like obviously I only listened to music to my my headphones. I never actually like watch music videos like that. Although I've seen Habits and I've seen Crawling, um, and uh. I, there's another song I can't remember off the top of my head right now but yeah like honestly I really enjoyed this I, I'll, I do want to do more at least because obviously it's, it's Chester bro Chester's has such a great voice live and in studio it doesn't really matter and like obviously since we're reacting to Lincoln Park now um I figured we go back to start watching some live performances but what do you guys think about um what do you guys think about this uh, performance like <clears throat> is there, there's any other live reaction you guys want to see me do we could do that because like obviously this is only I don't think I've ever watched a live 
but yeah, I don't think I've ever watched a live performance from from Ch Lincoln Park when Chester was still around. So this is a, this is actually gonna be a cool little journey we go through. And like obviously I know I'm gonna know a lot of these songs, but like I'm gonna be honest, like the last two albums I might have not listened to. Like I've heard, I probably heard like a song or two, but I haven't really listened to them the whole album. So maybe we'll go back and we'll check out like uh um my, my boy was telling me like the most recent album like uh i, I didn't i know for a fact i didn't listen to that album so maybe we'll check out some some songs um about that uh about that album next but anyways guys i'm gonna head up out of here hope you guys enjoyed this reaction i'm out Peace.